Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be checking out uh, one of my viewers' gameplay. Very good player, he gets top 100 uh, quite consistently. Uh, I saw his comment in my last video when I uploaded it. He said, yo Inception, I recommend you try using the 442 formation. It's very easy to counter, uh, counter press and I've been, able, uh, I've been able to hit top 100 consistently this year using it. I have a top 100 custom tactics video. If you're interested in looking into it, uh, keep grinding, brother. So I wanted to check out his channel because as you guys know, we do um pretty much community shout outs in the channel when someone makes good content i like checking it out uh he uploads from time to time but it's a lot of top 100 stuff uh so i'm pretty sure the one that he wants me to check out is this one right here yo guys and he does actually speak in it so that's good because then i you know it could have just been like a video where he just like shows uh what his tactics are and then he moves from there so let's check out and see what uh he has to say about it because i could use it for fun to see if it works out my current team and then go from there What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'll be bringing you a 442 custom tactic video. Um, as you guys can see on he your does screen, consistently um, fi fix uh, finish top 100. By the way, so when I used to be on Xbox before, I used to see his name up there all the time, like so in previous years. One last weekend, and finished uh, 38 in the world, um, which isn't too bad. And I've done this using the formation of 442. And in today's video, I'll be going in depth um, with the custom tactics and player instructions which I've used, and I hope this will be able to help you guys. Um, if you're struggling in the weekend league, you know, maybe if you're like one or two wins off hitting Elite 1 or Elite 2. Uh, Salaha, when you make videos in the future, bro, let me show you something, okay? So if you use OBS, if you use OBS, whatever your mic is, so mine is this one right here, right? So when you have your mic, set a filter to it and put a gain and then just put your mic a little bit higher, okay? So that way uh, you don't have to talk too loud, but the mic will pick up your voice, all right? Or whatever your circumstances are um, maybe trying something different might help because i'm on like full volume right now right so this um video will be able to help you so without further ado let's get into it okay guys so as you can see um this is a team that i okay so ronaldo griezmann striker and bappe on the left or the right side and then okay that's a good team i used uh, which helped me get top 100 uh i wouldn't say like it's nothing special compared to like a lot of the other teams that you come up against in weekend league for sure um this is a, a, a I, this is a this is a respectable this is a this is a respectable uh top 100 finish i respect this a lot bro i do respect this a lot you do have some of the meta players like with patrick Vieira and ronaldo and stuff but in regards to who you come up against after like 14 15 wins th this is a, a respectful te uh, team to get a top 100 with so 100%. You have my respect. This is a this is a competent enough team. You can get Lauren Blanc for Patrick Vieira. Nedved's a little bit a toughie in that area. Ronaldo also because he's a really good striker, but for your account, I haven't spent any FIFA points, so Yeah. You know. This is this is definitely doable through gameplay. Um that's that, but um without further ado, I will be going into my custom tactics which I used. So these are the custom tactics which I use for the 4 4 This is why he wants me to try it, because his tactics are very similar to mine. Or two. Um, in terms of defensive style, um, I think drop back is the best, as you know, you're, um, when you do lose the ball, your team, um, like your centre-backs and your midfielders would like naturally like just drop back a little bit. But um, one thing to note is if you do play on drop back, um, I recommend having a depth of around four to six. Um, yeah. Because if you do drop the depth down to two or one, your team's just going to be like literally parking the bus and you don't want that because it's just going to leave you frustrated as you won't have possession of the ball. Mm -hmm. So um, one thing to note is if you are playing drop back, uh, make sure your depth is between four and six. Um, but in terms of drop back, I think it is the best um, defensive style. Yeah. I have been using uh, pressure on heavy touch. Mm, sometimes. But... Um, it's a weird one like sometimes um the players will press and when they do press um the opposition can get out and that leaves you exposed like it just leaves your four center backs there and the opposition is able to like just to run through so um having on drop back allows you in possession to like play like one twos and when you do lose it your team does drop back and with having a depth of four um it doesn't allow your team to drop back too much to the point where you're parking the bus. It just, yeah, um, you can see where the like back four is. For the penalty box, that's where they would like sit. Uh, the game mechanics will still push them farther back because even if you have like seven depth, uh, seven depth, they'll still push back really yeah. far. So, so but if four four is a good drop off in regards to him having the ball in this general area right here. 
so um, four's been working for me. Um, in terms of width, um, as you guys know, like four four two naturally is a wide formation as opposed to like the four one two one two, which is narrow. Yeah. And I just feel like in foot champions or in division rivals, having um, playing with the four four two, it offered so much width that um, that it drags your opponents out of position in terms of player switching. So, for example, if you had the ball for left back and you played it to your left mid, um, your left back, your left mid would be like in the wide position. So your opponent like has to switch to his right back and like in a way it drags him out and leaves space for like, your left centre mid mm -hmm. or your right centre mid to like um, occupy that spot in, into the space. Yep. So in terms of width, like the natural default is five, but here I've set it up to I pushed it up one, so it's on six. Okay. And this has been working really well for me. Um, you know, defensively, like it's not too wide to the point where your centre back split. It's like the perfect. Um, I'd say it's the perfect like number because you know you don't want your centre backs your centre backs to be too wide apart or your left back um, being too wide apart from mm -hmm. your centre back. Mm -hmm. um, you want to be like keep it tight. So six is really good, and I recommend you guys try this. Um, in terms of offensive style, balance is the uh, I think right like, really I recommend balance. I think it's the best one. Um, before I used to use possession. I use possession, possession right now, um, but. Uh, when your opponents were like um, trying to tackle you, once they did win the ball back, um, I f like it, it felt it, like you were exposed. And also with possession, um, it's a lot slower build up. And um, if you're playing like division rivals, like uh, the higher caliber players, um, they will like intercept the ball. Like you're not going to be able to hold the ball for a large majority of the game. That's why balance, I feel like, offers a better balance. Like in terms of um, attacking and defending, like. The build ups a lot more uh, it's like more quicker but like not to the point where it's fast build up where your players are just pinging it like quickly and you're exposed i just think balance is of like the perfect one so i would recommend balance and that's what i've been using um, yeah my current tactics i have a setup with possession and balance so i have my attacking one to be balanced and i have my defensive one to be possession in terms of width as well um i've just kept it the same as uh, the default five. Mm -hmm. um Again, the 442 has its natural width. Um, so you, I wouldn't want to mess around with that too much. So mm -hmm. five width is perfect. Your left mids are able to like stay wide. Your left back's in position. Uh, you've got your two center mids. They don't split, or they stay like center with width for five. Having it too wide, I just don't see the like the need in doing that because uh, yep. you've already got natural width. So yeah. I want to see what the transition's like when he uses, because uh, he probably uses, he has to use first time shots. So. For the width, I keep that five. Um, in terms of players in the box, this is personal preference. It's up to you. You can have it at five. This is why I he mentioned this to three. me. Um, just because um, I don't like to cross too much. Like, I don't personally. I don't think abusing uh, El Tornados is like it's, it's, it's not the way to play FIFA for me. <laughs> I love you. Um, and also, yeah, I just don't cross. Like I like to like build it up slowly, so I've kept it at three. Nice. Um, yeah, but if you are like a player that likes to do the El Tornados or the um, just cross the ball in general, I recommend five. Um, five versus yeah, five will be perfect. I think. Uh, but I keep it. At I three. wouldn't put it at five. I think uh, three. Moving on to corners, um, I used to have this at two, but I play it at three. I think three is a perfect one. Two. Um, I notice when you play it on two, your only one centre back joins. Um. But when it's at three, you have your centre back, um, and you also have your midfielder, uh, whoever that is. For me, that's Vieira. That would that would stay at the near post, and um, I think three is just the perfect one because you have like a good amount of people in the box, and they're not. Too it's pretty self-explanatory. I have him on stay back while attacking, just because um, they don't really need to go forward, and if they, and if they do go forward. Um, they don't push up too much, like um, like they wouldn't overlap your left, the left mid or the right mid. So I have uh, my left back and right back on stay back while attacking. Okay. Um, in terms of the centre mid, um, I have them stay back while attacking and cover centre. Cover centre is really yeah, that's the good default. Uh, I think this is why he's sending me these tactics because this is my play style. Um, cover centre is really good for both of them because it doesn't allow. Them because um, if they do do that, it's just going to leave like, a whole gap in the middle and you're going to be exposed. Yep. So stay back while I take and cover centre for my left mid and right mid. Mm -hmm. And um, 
one thing to note as well, guys, if you're playing a 4 4 2 um, and you have a one centre mid, you want a, a centre mid who's got really good agility. Yep. And Modric is the perfect play for that. Um, good agility, good passing, and just like keeps the like keeps the team ticking. Yeah. Um, because you have a defensive physical presence in the middle, and you have someone that can set me, up the plays for everybody best, else. Like he's the best midfielder I've used in FIFA 19. Um, you just want someone who's agile, and then you want someone who's able to defend. Um, and for me, that's Patrick Vieira, who's amazing. You know, you guys know about. Patrick Vieira um, with a shadow chemistry style. Yeah. He is awesome. Mysterio left mids and right mids. Come, on, come, come back on defence and stay wide for both my left mid and right Come back on defence, stay wide, yeah. Right mid. Yeah. Um, come back on defence. Yeah. Or on. And um, just come back, coming back on defence just provides stability for the team. Especially with a drop back with four death actually makes a lot of sense. Let me see what he has in the strikers. Lastly, um, for the two strikers, I have him on comeback on defense, and mm -hmm. this for me that's is it. perfect. Yeah, because that's why he wants me to try try his tactics. Because that's like that's like that's something that I would use myself. Like, there's nothing that's like out of the ordinary there, especially with the four four two. Everybody dropping back, um, it's just it just creates a balance in your team. You know what? I will try out that that formation. I'm gonna see if I can get the right players for it though. Because you have like Antoine Griezmann and stuff, so I need to see what I can do with that. But I appreciate the video, man. This is definitely a good video. Guys, be sure to subscribe to the homie G. He's uh, 27 subscribers. It's a joke. Come on, you guys. Come on. You guys know you guys can can juice him. Let's juice the man's up, bro. I need to see his gameplay, actually. Let me Yo, see your highlights. Guys? Let me see your highlights, my boy. That's what I want to see. Two hours footage of games and just cut it down to... Like 30 minutes. Oh, look at the way the team spreads out. Oh, yeah. I won and the goals I've scored. Um, I want to apologize as well, guys. I am using the mm, 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 I like that. You can see the mini map. Um, need to put your mic higher, higher, higher my dude. I feel like my voice if it sounds bad. I'm currently ill. So, yeah. Um, zero. So, this is dev. Not usually. How does it already skip so much? I think you skipped a lot of goals there. Yeah, you did. Usually, when or it's you're yours. The weekend, um, the first few games aren't too bad. Um, wow, the way your team moves easy, is brilliant. But, um, it's so open. They are easier to like play, if you know what I mean, as opposed. Oh to, like, yeah, but you believe you better believe it. Look at that. Fifteen games or twenty games in, if you do play the weekend. Ronaldo with the heading presence. Wow, your gameplay is really bad. 15 games or 20 games in <laughs> oh my god his gameplay is so terrible and he's still doing he's still beasting so do you play the week and son uh you could like keep the ball from your opponents as you see here like you see how you transition forward all the, all the way from oh the his gameplay is so bad oh, ew know, look at that with blonde um, my boy play. goes in on bad gameplay eh? ggs my boy that's what i'm that's what i like to see oh my god his gameplay is so this is like one of the worst ones Son. Oh, and he plays proper this football. Weekend, I love it. This is the third time finishing too bad. Ronaldo heel to heel. Yeah. That's an easy yeah. Step. And um, if I was giving you guys like tips and best mode, I love seeing this, I man. It makes me happy. Ten games See how you transition Friday. forward this one. Ten games. Oh, this Sunday game plays a little bit better. On a this one's a little bit better. Yeah, that's, easy, that's a little better. Like, it's easier to um, if you're. It's easy to get, like, if, say, for example, if you're 10-0. Oh, the team does open up. It actually puts their defenders out of position. You have another 10 games and you're 50. It's hard to get out of it. And you look, 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 because he has to stay up there, right? If he commits a center back, it's GG's for you, my guy. Like, you keep winning your games. And he overcommits going back into the middle? Wow, look at that. And it's a lot easier. Um, oh, yeah, my boy. I love you. I would say it's like ninety percent mental. It's really close. Yeah. You're bat you're not only battling yeah. the opponent as well, you're battling yeah. against Yeah. Broken My game fucking mechanics. boy. Um, and no green shots. Or lassie flicks or like Or maybe he does, I just can't see it because he's doing these from the replays. Track to get in top hundred and near post corners with Ronaldo, yeah, those are overpowered. Can't fault you for that one. I do the same shit. Um, heel to heel to heel. Really yeah, heel to heel again. Yeah. Like Touch and then shoot, and he deserves a goal there. 
like you get a side and there's a goal there and you're able to use that Modric with that good dribbling Patrick Vieira shot nice deflection here, we get good dribbling there and heel to heel I think we green this one and then it was lucky It's a penalty in that one. Oh man, I like this. But we get on, uh, we get down the wing here with Mbappe. Yeah. Back into the player transitions game. in the middle. You definitely yeah, need the right this, players for this formation. This is a really good goal. This is scoop time to give Ooh, you I love it. I love it. I love it. Your gameplay is better than mine. And I know his composure is pretty good, so I fancied my chances in that one. So I just took back the percentage of doing the scoop and it put me in the left foot. And I love the way he can spread out the play, play, and then the teams are like, so, oh, the players are already in like really good position. Such a good balance. See, Ned fed, we win it. Like, we had the ball back in our half. And look, this is a four four two. You see, Carl, it spreads it everybody. Look at this. On the right hand side, and I know. I, yeah, here, it spreads I, them. Yeah, and then that's a first time back. pass. I triggered um, that L run to make a custom run with Mbappe, and he ran inside, and then Ronaldo played a beautiful through ball. Um, and it was nice amazing. gameplay, man. Um, guys, subscribe to his channel. To you guys, if you're um, yeah playing, yeah, my um, boy. FIFA and like, um, but don't use it too much. Like, use it in situations that are like effective and practice using it. Because when I like, we were still unbeaten at this point, so I was feeling pretty like confident. Um, this is a great goal here with Ronaldo. I noticed that he called mm -hmm. his team out. And I just chipped it. Nice. I like that you I like that they actually gave you that goal. That's good. And then 93. They are like, you know. Um Ronaldo carries his team. He's like a he's a big game player, like, you know. Um he offers like physical. He's using different players too. Let me see the defense here. Uh, you want the skill moves you could do with him. Yeah, look at the good balance, man. Like, it's a good balance. For, like, Especially when he transitions forward. Players, for corners, you know. And this goal here, look, you'll see this guy, like, he's pressing me. He's this pressing, yeah. Like, it keeps, it gives you that space. Um, you Bring you able to spread really it out wide. Out if you're composed enough. And from this, trigger that run with Mbappe. Trigger that run with Son, yeah. Go backwards. If I remember he's going to go backwards. Watch that pass in the middle. Another pass again. Another pass in the middle again. And we get a bit fortunate with that oh, yeah, yeah. De Gea with the weird save there. Yo, GG's, man. Guys, like I said, man, be sure to subscribe to his channel. This, and he plays proper football, okay? This is the type of football you guys got to appreciate, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to check out his channel, guys. I'll leave in the link in the description down below, okay? Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.